Hello everyone, my name is Heather and this is my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be talking to you about Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a little bit different from your standard Google. Google Scholar is where you can find articles that are of a more research level, more what we would call peer-reviewed, where these articles are reviewed by scholars in the field. This is where you're going to find more serious articles if you're thinking along those lines. This is where you can find articles periodicals, materials from conferences. So as always, it works just exactly the same as the regular Google. You can search for articles of all types, and I'm going to use my exact same terms that I always use, teens, teenagers, and politics. So let's try teens and politics. Now you'll notice that you can search for articles or case law more than likely unless you are specifically doing something in the area of law, lawyers, or looking for legal cases, which is fine if you'd like to do that. We can do our search. Now you'll notice automatically our results are a whole lot less. We have 153,000 results. If you looked at one of my other Google videos, you'll notice that I had over 6 million results. That's a lot less to look for. And if you look over here on the left side of the screen, you'll also notice that you can customize your range. You can actually look for articles from 2017, 2016, since 2013. I could actually put in from 2010 to 2018 if I wanted to look in the last eight years. I could actually include my citations. So if your teachers or your librarians are asking for you to have citations and actually cite your work, which is a really good thing to do, you can do that all here in Google. And so what you can actually do is you can go through and you can look at after the sexual revolution, gender politics and teen dating, teens, video games and civics. So that sounds actually like a really good article. Let's say that I would like to look at that. I can open this article up. This is actually from a database called ERIC, which is an education database. Over here on the right side of the screen, you'll see where it says download full text. It's a little bit different here with the Google Scholar articles. You actually have to look for the words full text, download full text. Things look a little bit different. And you'll automatically notice these articles are a lot longer. This one is 76 pages because this is a government report. This is actually from the Pew Internet Life an American Life Project. This is from the MacArthur Foundation. This is a lot more information. There's a lot more information here for you to absorb. But if you were looking for some serious research and data to back up a paper or a project or research, it's all there. So let's go back to the list. But if you're looking at this information, you can actually see what the article is about. You can actually see who it's cited by. And if you look here underneath the article and click cite, you automatically get all of the different citations. So if you need MLA, it's right there, APA, and you can click on that, copy and paste, and you already have it. And then down here below, you've got Bibtex, EndNote, RefMan, and RefWorks, and it will download it to any of those tools. So that's all pretty handy. And so you have lots of ideas and ways that you can search for all different types of tools, and you can even sign in and create alerts so that it will search for you and send you emails about articles that come out in your area. And you can also create your own library of articles. So Google Scholar can be very useful. Hope you like this. Hope this has been useful. If you like it, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends. Enjoy more videos coming out soon. Thanks so much.